There is not a single person on planet Earth who can convince me this is actually worth it. What is up, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Breaking news out there as of a couple of hours ago. Dignitas and the return, the rebranding of Clutch Gaming, of course, with League of Legends, this next split. They have now announced probably their largest signing of all time and one of the largest of all time in League of Legends North American history. That's going to be the contract for Hooney. It will officially be two years and a staggering and absolutely mind-blowing number of $2.3 in guaranteed money. Yes, that means if Hooney goes out tomorrow and smashes all of his fingers with a hammer, he's still going to be paid $2.3 million, what is likely, if not top three, a top two amount ever in North American LCS history. And you've got to be asking yourself, how the heck can Dignitas actually see this as a value. Now, I'm not trying to knock on Hooney. Great for you, man. You got a contract signed. Congratulations. Actually broke and confirmed now by ESPN. It kind of likes that of Core JJ and of, alongside him, Impact of the highest salaries ever signed to in North American history. Apparently, Impact last, I think it was actually 2017, a three year contract valued at $3.4 million, which means going forward annually, it does mean Hooney's at least a top two paid player in North America. And I, I, where where does this value come from? This is an over-evaluation. This is a, a, what some might call a dumb move, but certainly a questionable move by Dignitas to try and secure, yes, I understand it, right? You're a history League of Legends brand. You're now returning after you rebrand Clutch Gaming. You want a history player who, predating 2017, has had some extremely high highs, but ever since then, he's also had some extremely low lows. You've got to have a world-class player to be able to afford $2.3 in guaranteed cash. For two years. Holy crap. And I totally understand. I, I really do want you guys to argue with me here. I love debating with the comment section. I think we have some great back and forth given our history together. But how you can actually see this value, I understand he's a brand. He's a personality. A following comes with him. But certainly not that large of a following. Look at most of his social medias out there. Certainly during this two-year tenure, he's not going to have time for YouTube videos and Twitch streams. And when it comes to Twitter and Instagram, yes, he's a great funny guy, great talkable guy as well. But how talkable one, one, one must be to actually be worth nearly $200,000 out of your pocket every single month, plus travel, food, possible benefits to the player alongside that. How in the world, if a Dignitas employee out there wants to talk me down and simmer me down, you reach out right now because this is a ballsy, ballsy move. If he is being paid this much, I hope Doug Sensor Martin, who left FaZe Clan for the Call of Duty League, now going to be a part of the New York team, who has millions and millions of more followers than Hooney, I hope he's getting paid a bit more than the 50 k minimum salary for that league 50k 50k for the entire year is the minimum salary for call of duty i'm sure doug is making around that but can probably not too much more than that because he really wanted to have a chance to play in that league guess who's making four times more than that in a single month what he is making an entire year hooney of all god dang people. And to further condemn this move, now again, this could pay off, right? What has to be done to quite literally pay off this debt they will now owe Hooney? What has to be done to pay this back to Dignitas? And I think that the answer is obvious. They must go to Worlds yet again. They have to do much better, make it out of groups, and uh, obviously much farther than that if they possibly can for at least those two years. And even then, you gotta think about, what about the rest of the esports organization and their other teams? Well known in Rocket League, especially uh, they're also returning to CSGO, where they were kind of well known for a while, but traditionally a very expensive esport to enter into is that of CSGO. And what did they just do? They paid more for one player contract for two small years than an entire CSGO roster would actually cost to acquire. Yes, CSGO salaries are their own battle, but CSGO salaries are not even close to that of what they're paying Hooney. So I'm trying to really function how this will work. If you guys want to fight with me, Take your best jab at why this could possibly work for a team like Dignitas, who, by the way, back in September said they returned to CSGO, have made no announcements ever since then. There's been a lack of players, obviously very high salaries, and certainly a lack of teams they could sign, but they just paid $2.3 million for Hooney. By the way, if you guys were curious, Renegades, the roster that Hunter Thieves just signed, was right around a rumored $2.2 million. If they were under contract, they could have been way cheaper. Alongside that, one of the best lineups in the world, Evil Geniuses acquired them, the XNRG boys for $3 million. Just to give you an idea, some of the best players in CSGO history are being paid right around $25,000 to maybe $35,000 per month. Hooney will now be pulling in six to seven times that amount. This, I cannot, I cannot put into words how crazy this is. So I ask all of you, is this smart? Is this stupid? And I ask you a second question as well. What makes this worth it for a team and organization like Dignitas? 
I can just see it now, especially when it comes to, historically speaking, teams like Echo Fox have struggled to re-sign expensive players like that of Hooney. I don't know how far his brand and personality has gone to actually reach this evaluation of what he is worth, but I think it's insane. Congratulations for him for getting the bag, okay? He has gotten a gigantic bag for, for all of this, and again, the next two years are going to be hectic for a team like Dignitas, who hopefully can stick around if this esports bubble doesn't pop on all of us, and they're out 2.3 million ones to one single player out there. This is one of the, I think, biggest contracts I've ever seen in esports history. Alongside that, I think it's uh, one of the few that I can I can just outright say it seems to be an over-evaluation, an over-stretch of their pockets, and we'll find out in two years' time if this has paid off. Until then, I hope you guys all enjoy. I'm going to be here breaking down esports, gaming, League of Legends news all day long. If you have a story for me to cover, drop a DM, drop a comment. I love talking about it, guys, as you can probably tell. Until next time, take care. I'll see you guys all back here sometime soony. Shut up.